Hiya, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I have a gorgeous anniversary card made using Sue Wilson dies. So we're starting off here with a card base of 6 inches by 6 inches. It's a pre-scored card and I'm just going to make the inside a little bit pretty. So I've taken a piece of the gold textured cardstock which is also going to feature on the front of the card and I'm layering that on the inside and it is cut at five and three quarters by five and three quarters so that it's just one quarter inch down. I'm then going to take a piece of cream cardstock and layer that on top of the gold and that is cut at five and a half by five and a half and that just creates a lovely matte and layer on the inside. You might have noticed that I also had a strip of the pattern cardstock this is the pattern that I'm going to be using on the front I think that I probably will use that on the inside of the card but I hadn't 100% decided on that so I decided just to leave that it was a piece of scrap and leave that on the inside of the card until I decided exactly what I wanted to do so then in I started on the front of the card and I covered the entire front of the card with a piece of that textured gold so that is cut at six inches square. I've been using my tape pen for all of this, it's going to work just fine and then I'm going to take, once I've stuck this layer down, I've got the pattern paper which is actually an Anna Griffin collection it's um, a collection she had of cream and gold and it's just a lovely lovely pattern um, piece of paper so I'm going to take that and I'm going to stick that down onto the front of the card as well and this is cut at five and three quarters square so that it's just showing a little bit of that gold texture around the edge and just creating a nice matte and layer effect on the card so there we are just sticking that down and I think that you can see it's just really nice having that little mat of gold around the edge. It just gives it a little accent and I think that's turned out really pretty. So just popping that to one side, the next thing I want to do is just put my sentiment down. So I've actually taken a gold peel off sticker that says happy anniversary and I'm just peeling that off very carefully. and and letting it drop but basically you want to let it just hang very lightly off one edge so it doesn't distort which is why I'm losing it a little bit because I'm just literally trying to just pop it down on the smallest area of the edge of my blade there and then I'm popping it into the center of a piece of the cream cardstock that matches on the inside of the card that we had and it didn't really matter whether it was straight or not long as it came sort of the whole word wasn't distorted but it didn't matter whether it was straight in the center of that piece of card because I'm actually going to die cut that out so that just needed to be popped down ready for the die cutting part and I'm for that I'm going to use the background die from the Indian Ocean collection and I'm going to use just the center little square well this it's not quite the center but it's the first sort of uh, rectangle that's in the collection there so for today I'm actually going to be using the baby blue as my die cutting machine that's the small machine from tattered lace and what I wanted to do was prove really that even if you do have one of these smaller machines that really have a very small uh, aperture to go through for die cutting I think it's sort of like uh, sort of like two and a half inches across on the plates you really can still achieve amazing cards but anyway back to this specific card we're starting off here with our A plate I've already as you know attached the die to my piece of card so I've got my die cut side up piece of card then I've put my B plate on top of that and I've just wound that through the machine I've got here the extra long plates I believe I think there are shorter plates that come with the actual machine I've got both so I'm not quite sure which ones I'm using at the moment I know I needed the longer plates later so I may well be using them now but anyway as you can see that went through on the first pass it is a simple die at this point but you can still see it came through as a beautiful clean cut so I thought that was really really good okay so using the background 
die collection again I've taken a strip of gold cardstock and I've taken that next largest rectangle and I'm cutting that out using the same combination of plates as I did before and I'm just running that through and you can see that that cut out beautifully and one pass did that just no problem at all I then took the rectangle again but then the decorative element that went with that and I popped that onto the pattern cardstock to cut that out and I actually just flipped the combination of the sandwich over because then you could actually see the die and it was cutting down but it's still cutting into the same plate it's just I literally flipped the whole thing over however when I turned it over to look to see if it had cut you can just see there that it hadn't cut through properly so I popped it through literally just once more and now you can see it's cut that out beautifully so then I've taken some foam tape, I've put some in the middle and then I'm going to cut that in half just so I've got some thinner strips to put around the edge piece just to give some of the edges a little bit of support and I'm going to layer that up onto the gold piece to create a nice sort of dimensional matte and layer from those two elements. And there it is all finished and put together. And I think that looks really effective having that little bit of dimension. gives a bit of shadowing which works really well I think. And then I'm just taking my happy anniversary which we cut out earlier. And again with just a bit of foam tape in the centre. I'm then popping that into the centre of the element that we just constructed. And I think that's come out really really well. I'm pleased with that. So now I am taking the Sue Wilson Indian Ocean border and corners die and I'm taking the border from that collection and I've cut a number of strips from the cream cardstock and the patterned gold cardstock and I am going to cut out a number of these borders so starting first of all with this cream cardstock I'm just popping the two elements of the border down and I'm as you see popping it at a slight angle that helps your die cutting machine take the die through it doesn't like it so much when you put it so the die comes on head on it, it tends to prefer to do things a little bit more gently now I put this one through twice having seen on the previous more intricate die that it didn't cut so well and so on this occasion it cut out perfectly because I just thought right let's just pop it through twice straight away and as you can see it's coming out beautifully and that particular die is just so gorgeous I really really like it and then I'm taking a the same two elements of the die so you've got the outer edge and then the decorative element on the inside and I'm using that on the patterned gold and cream cardstock the Anna Griffin and again I'm just angling it but I'm fiddling around a little bit because I'm just trying to make sure that the patterning is where I want it to be and I've got my B plate on the bottom and then my A plate on top because you cut into the B plate and then I popped it through but this time I did it once because I thought it would probably cut through on once on this particular die and it proved to be the case so I think it really depends on each die so um, this particular border die just seemed to cut out much easier than the other element maybe it was just the way it worked but anyway you can see it's peeled off easily there was just a couple of pieces which I've just put, popped out with my fingers and then one little dot that I popped out with my pokey tool there but you can see how gorgeous that has come out I'm really really pleased with that that border by the way is it almost exactly six inches across so um and also each time you use it don't forget you need to get rid of all the elements in that are inside the die in order for it to cut perfectly so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut those out of the cream and the patterned cardstock a number of times and then I will come back to you when they are all cut and here they are all cut and as you can see I also decided to cut a couple in the gold texture as well 
So now I'm making use of the corner dies from that set. Didn't see very well what I did there, so just to show you on the second time I did this, I took the inside ed uh, sort of decorative element as we do with most of Sue's dies. There's like an outside edge and then a decorative inside edge. I put the two together, taped it down, and then I also wanted to make use of the other corner set that was there so I just pop that in because you may as well cut them both at the same time if you can rather than go through several times so I pop that in as well so I'll come back to you as soon as all those corners are cut so that's those all done and aren't they gorgeous I think they're really really nice corners I like those a lot so one lot of these corners are actually for the inside of the card. I felt that that would add a nice decorative element to the inside and just kind of even it up. I think it's always nice to, if you've got a very decorative card on the outside, to kind of not be so sort of plain on the inside. Now I'm using my Cosmic Shimmick glue here to adhere these down. Now being a decorative element as they are, it sometimes can be hard to add the adhesive to the back of these. So what I do is I put my Cosmic Shimmer on a piece of scrap card. I know a lot of people do it on the back of their hand. Personally, I know from my experience of my other business of being in the nails business that you can become allergic to chemicals and glue after all is a chemical. Um, years down the line you might be totally fine and then all of a sudden one day you just can't even touch it and once you get to that point you will find that you can't touch anything that's to sort of any sort of chemical like that. So personally I wouldn't risk it for the sake of just putting it on a piece of card. So anyway I'm adding all four corners to my card on the inside here and I think that that's going to make that look really effective. And there it is finished and I think that looks really gorgeous. I'm really pleased with how that's turned out. So now to the front, let's get constructing. So taking our border layers, I'm going to put those on the bottom of the card like a little skirt. And because I want the edge of it to sort of be loose and sort of be able to be pulled away from the card itself, I'm just putting my Cosmic Shimmer adhesive on that top edge. And as you can see, it's pretty much six inches across and I knew that it would be very slightly wider and I wanted that effect and that look. I, I know you might think, well, I might, uh, you don't want that. So either make your card slightly bigger or cut the edge off the actual die when you get it and position it but I wanted it to look like that I wanted it to look opulent and I thought that that gave it that effect now as you can see I'm pretty much layering it so that the previous it's almost touching the previous um border that I've put down, I couldn't think of the word, um, that I've put down so that I, it, it sort of overlaps quite a lot to give that really lush opulent look. I want it to look really thick and you know over the top. This is a golden wedding anniversary card so it's meant to look over the top. Now you can decide the order of the colours that you've done. You could sort of mix them up in diff any different ways. But I decided that I wanted to not finish with a cream or a pattern on the very top because it kind of got lost against the pattern background. Um, so I kind of did a mirror image. I started with the gold, then cream, then pattern. And then I went back, cream, pattern, gold. So it kind of mirrored itself out from the center outwards. And I thought that looked quite effective. And then of course, don't forget we're putting our other element on as well yet. So that's all got to, be taken into account with the colouring as well so you know choose it how you want it to be done but that was for me it worked because as you can see now that skirt element I'm just lifting those pieces up you can see why I said I didn't want to glue them down um, but that skirt element really pops out because of the gold and also because I've lifted it up it pops out so it's really popping everywhere 
So now I am adding the element that we first made, which is my sentiment kind of matte and layer section. And I wanted to just add those extra little corners. Now you see how those corners are kind of opposite corners to normal in that they go outward from the corner rather than into the corner which means you can get some kind of cool effects with it. And in this case, I'm using it just to add some decorative element to my sentiment piece here. So it, for positioning on this particular card, I'm taking that top point on the arch, as it were, and putting it on the top of the card, and then the point on the other side to the left hand side so it's touching the top of the card and the left hand side of the card it's just coincidence and luck that that actually made it fit because it could have been I put those there and then when I added my sentiment piece I mean obviously I would have checked it first but when I added the sentiment piece it just didn't then fit into the little corners and and didn't actually you know it was too small or whatever now of course you could have got around that you could have added another mat or layer or whatever but it it was just perfect fit so I was just very very lucky in that regard now for my sentiment there again I just wanted to pop it up even more we've got it doesn't show so much on the camera but the skirt part as I call it was actually quite a lot of depth to it and so I felt that if I didn't pop the sentiment up a bit more it would just look a little bit lost so I just used some foam tape to do that okay so that's just peeled all that off I'm just going to put it directly onto the card I'm not going to put any uh, cosmic shimmer on like I often do I know the position it's pretty simple to line up so it's nice and easy to go on and that is it all done and I think it's turned out absolutely stunning and I hope that it shows you that even with the small machine you can create a stunning stunning card so thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you again soon bye for now bye that there we be intertwined and quite the same we are the only game I wanna play today and tomorrow this flower is blooming all the same the grass gets greener every day in our place I'll visit every Wednesday our imaginary hay boy well, I'll see you soon Whispers into my ear and overwhelms petty fears. He speaks so sweet, he says. You'll get days that equal years. Drop off.